Nebraska Republican Party nominates State Senator Mike Flood in the special election for Congressional District 1. That was the seat held by Jeff Fortenberry. He resigned last month after being convicted on three federal felonies. A California judge will sentence him on June 28th. That's the same day Governor Pete Ricketts has set for, set for the special election. Now, as KETV News Watch 7's Josh Cristianto reports, today's party vote on the nomination was overwhelming. At the Nebraska Republican headquarters in Lincoln, the executive committee, led by Chairman Dan Welch, picked out who will represent them in the special election for Congressional District 1. Two people were in the running, retired U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel John Glenn Weaver and Norfolk State Senator Mike Flood. I want to ask you to picture who you see serving in the U.S. Congress most effectively. Not in the state legislature of Nebraska, but in Washington, D.C. My message is simple. We must win in November. We must fire Nancy Pelosi. And all of this depends, I believe, on your decision today. After candidate statements, the committee took to paper ballots to cast their votes in secret. In the end, Flood received 24 votes, while Weaver got five. I have no doubt that the Republicans of Nebraska will unite behind Mike and he will soundly defeat Senator Panzing Brooks in the special election. Flood faces Democratic opponent State Senator Patty Pansing Brooks in the June 20th special election. The winning candidate would serve until January 2023. Reporting in Lincoln, Josh Cristianto, KTV News Watch 7. And whoever wins this race will serve out the last few months of Fortenberry's term. Mike Flood, John Weaver, and Patty Pansing Brooks are all also on the ballot for the May primary for the same position.